Here we are at the midway point of the NBA season, so I'm going to give you my top five NBA candidates for the first half of the season. Not who I'm projecting to win it all at the end of the season, but who have been the five MVPs this year. And at number five, I'm starting with Steph Curry. You know the numbers. He's been sensational. 29 points a game, leading the Golden State Warriors. Six assists, five rebounds. But he's missed 11 games. That's a quarter. 25% of the season he's missed. But the Warriors without him, five and six. That was their record. They're 25 and eight with him, five and six without him. Steph Curry's in fifth place. At number four, LeBron James. And you might say, wow, Steph five, LeBron four. This is why. Being there is part of the job description. You can't miss all of these games, 20% of the games, and be the MVP. And LeBron has missed 24% of the Lakers games thus far. He's playing sensational basketball. They're only four and seven with him. Check this out. They're on a 48 win pace when LeBron is on the court. Without him, they're on a 30 win pace. So LeBron James in the fourth spot because obviously he's making a huge difference for the Lakers. At number three, Nikola Jokic. And yes, he has played every game for the Denver Nuggets. Denver shocked everybody and has the second best record in the Western Conference. They got the best record at home in the Western Conference. And Jokic, a seven footer who can do everything, plays the point guard, plays the center. He leads them in scoring, assist, rebounds, and even steals. So Nikola Jokic, third place for the MVP race. At number two, Giannis Atetokounmpo in Milwaukee. He has the Bucks playing great basketball. They've beaten everybody, Golden State, Boston, Toronto, Philadelphia, Denver, and he leads them in scoring 26 points a game. Rebounds, 13, almost 13 a game. Assists, six a game. And he's like sixth, seventh in the league in fourth quarter scoring. Giannis is definitely running for hard for that MVP award. And at number one, the MVP over the first half of the season, you guessed it, James Harden. I mean, he's doing historic things. Stuff that Michael Jordan never did. Stuff that no one has done since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Wilt Chamberlain way back when the ABA existed. He broke Kobe Bryant's record of 16 straight 30-point games. That existed since the 1976 merger of the NBA and the ABA. And here's the best thing about it. The Houston Rockets are 13 and four in those 17 games in which Harden has scored 30 or more. It's incredible what he's doing. Leading the league in scoring, 34 and a half points a game. Fourth in assists, eight and a half dimes a game. He is literally doing everything for the Rockets. It's, it's hard to believe because they're still winning. With Chris Paul on the bench, has missed 17 games. With Eric Gordon on the bench, has missed 11 games. And now Clint Capella's out, and yet the Rockets keep churning, all because of James Harden. He's your MVP over the first half of the NBA season.